Good evening, everyone. He has a very good track record. The third candidate to become the new NMU men's basketball coach is from the state of North Dakota. Jeff Kaminsky has been the bench boss at Valley City State, an NAIA school, for eight years. But he has more than two dozen years of experience. Kaminsky has led Valley City State to four 21 seasons, including a 21-9 mark a year this past season. Vikings were the Dakota Athletic Conference co-champions in 2009 and 10, having a 20-10 and 10 record, also had a 20-10 and 10 record in 2011-12. Prior to arriving at VCSU, Kaminsky served 11 seasons as head coach at the University of Wisconsin-Superior. He also spent seven seasons as the head coach at Mid-State Technical College in Wisconsin, and all have been major rebuilding projects. The first job I had was at Mid-State Tech. They were 1-21, lost by 40 points a game. That was their average marginal loss. So they lost some games by 70. So we can imagine what kind of crowd turnouts they had. And I experienced the same thing at, at you know, Superior with you know, last place and became very competitive. And at Valley City, they had not had a winning season since 1989 uh, before I got there. And we've been able to win uh, at least 20 games three of the last four years. Kaminsky played two years at the College of DuPage and two years at Grand Valley State. He was a junior college All-American honorable mention and a GLIAC Scholar Athlete of the Year and Defensive Player of the Year at GVSU in the mid-1980s. Kaminsky played for the Lakers against current NMU women's basketball coach Troy Matson. Let's go to the high school tennis ranks today. Ishbaming visiting Nagani. We're looking at first doubles. And Nick Martin of Nagani is going to say enough of this point as he puts that one away. His partner is Michael Anderson. They're taking on the Hematites Jorge Muela and Kirk Guckenberg. And Martin is going to be in good position to get the next point as well. After this lob, Nick is going to hit the ball down the line just hard enough to get the winner. And Nagani won this match 6-2 and 6-2. Over at second singles in the near court, that's Guillermo Ansede of Ishpeming against Ryan Sergela of the Miners. And Ryan's going to start practicing his overhead just a little bit. One, two, and then the forehand. Cross court for the winner. He went on to win this match 6-1 and 6-3. Nagani took this match by the team score of 8-0. Also in tennis today, Marquette edged Munising 4-3. In high school softball, Kendall Miller had the game-winning hit in the ninth inning for Rapid River. 6-5 Rockets over Manistique. In college softball, Valparaiso swept a doubleheader from Western Michigan 4-3 and 1-0. In the 1-0 game, Gladstone's Mackenzie Sheepack allowed just four hits and an RBI single. She had three walks and seven strikeouts. Unfortunately, her record is now 3-7. Notre Dame beat Western today 6-1.